because all you got to do is ask around. Yeah, this is when I like to be here. Nice and quiet. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Jay. I am really just chilling today. It's Friday. It's Friday afternoon. And before I do that, I wanted to show y'all what I got from H&M. And these clothes are actually for Miss Myla. So I found out that H&M has some really cute clothes. And I think for little girls, they have really cute clothes and outfits. So I am super excited for the spring and summer to be coming back around. And I wanted to get her some clothes that she could fit right now and some clothes that she can grow into for the summertime. But yeah, I'm just gonna dig right in. So let's see. I heard this little outfit. So I love getting Myla like little monochrome outfits because I don't know, I feel like it's so cute and minimal and chic. And for Myla's style, like I really want her clothes to fit like a little bit bigger than she actually is. Like I actually really like the oversized look for little girls. So yeah, I'm so excited for her. She's just starting to like sit up. So excited to dress her. So excited for all her little baby stages. But yeah, got this cute little outfit. And then I also got her a new jacket because her other jackets, she's already outgrowing. And I feel like this will be super cute. And it's probably, yeah, it's gonna be oversized now, but this will also be good for like the spring and summer. And I'm not gonna open this yet, but I also got her just like a pack of um, little camis. The, oh, I got her some leggings because I love when she wears leggings to daycare. When we're like chilling on the weekends, I love when she has like, leggings and then like an oversized sweatshirt like that is just the cutest thing to me for a little girl so i got her two pairs of leggings and yeah i feel like that was super cute another thing that i got that i thought was so cute is this jacket y'all how cute is this jacket oh my gosh so it looks so small because I, like i said i want her jackets and her tops to be oversized it looks so small but this is probably going to be good for her this is nine to 12 months and like I said, she's seven months. So it's probably gonna fit good. And I went ahead and got her a bigger size as well. This is 12 to 18 months because I want her jackets to have a nice fit on them. The last thing that I got from H&M was this bathing suit because I'm super thirsty and so ready for the summertime how cute i'm gonna get her some two-piece bathing suits because i think that's so cute for little girls like with the little shades but i also saw this and i just feel like it was too cute not to get we're gonna be doing a lot of pool days this summer so now that that's done i'm gonna wrap up work wrap up being at home and i'm getting about 50 text messages oh i'm in a group chat um but yeah i'm going to go ahead and get ready to leave the house and then run a couple errands and then i don't know deshaun said he really wants a good drink which i could go for a drink too i don't know like i always say i could go for a drink and then when i get there i'm like mm, i could do without Just got my glasses sized Today is Saturday and we are headed into Target and I'm so excited because it's the morning time and y'all Target on Saturdays especially in Atlanta packed everybody and their mama want to be at Target but it is eight o'clock on a Saturday parking lot is nearly empty and yeah it's probably like all the soccer moms are out or maybe they're at the soccer field but yeah so me and Myla are going to go into Target, pick up a few things. So yeah, come shop with us. I'm gonna get one of these. 
I can throw this in my work bag and have it easily. Say good morning. <laughs> Myla has on this cute little snowsuit that my mom bought her. I think this is the cutest thing. It's so cold today, it's 29 degrees. So I figured I would just slip her in this so we could go get up and go. But how cute is this snowsuit? So cute, love it. This is when I like to be in Target. When it's basically nobody here and everybody that's here works here. So then you can find what you need extra quick because all you gotta do is ask around. Yeah, this is when I like to be here. Nice and quiet. I'm looking for some blank note cards, but I want them to be really nice because I am adding, I'm updating my little like creative mood board. <clears throat> and I wanna write some things down, but I don't wanna use regular index cards, which is what I've used in the past. So I wanna see if I can find some really nice white, plain quality cards that I can write on. Make something shake. I'm trying to find some vitamin C gummies because the girl is tired of being sick already. And I usually do Ali, but I don't see any vitamin C gummies. So I see these, but like, I don't know if I'm gonna like these. And I feel like there's so many in here. I'm gonna get these two little hand lotions because I don't know why I always lose my um, pocket hand lotions, but I do. See, this is what happens when you live in Atlanta. Or maybe they're just not well stocked, but the girls have been saying that the way, or we, however you say it, that the body scrub is good. So I was trying to find it, but all I see is stuff for hair. And one thing about me when it comes to hair, I'm going black on all the way. Like. I don't know if she needs this many. Maybe I'll just get her two of these. So we love the Inus wipes for Myla's butt, but her um, nose would get dry and we would use them sometimes on her nose. And we noticed that her nose and her chin was starting to break out. <laughs> Always getting these freaking command strips and I feel like they never work so this better work today and lastly before we get out of here I think I'm gonna make some cookies today so I want to find some walnuts to put in there and I don't know if I see any all right now that we're done at Target I need to stop by home um, not home office depot because I need to drop off a Zara return that I have and then I also need to look for those uh, white note cards. Hopefully they have them there. And then after that we're going to drive through the car wash because my car is filthy and I also need to clean the inside so I'm probably going to do that this weekend but I can do that at home because I have um, one of those cordless vacuums that have a Dyson so I can easily just detach that and clean out my car. Wipe it down really good. We're gonna pick up some food and some coffee and then we're gonna get home. I think we're not doing much today. We're probably just gonna be in the house. If anything, we may get dinner later or I may cook. But um, I don't think we're doing much today. And then Myla's gonna be hungry soon so she's gonna need food again, so yeah. All right, so we are getting a car wash and I was thinking about getting breakfast but actually I think I'm gonna make breakfast at home I'm probably gonna make avocado toast um, and then we don't have coffee at home I thought we did but we don't so I'm probably gonna stop by the coffee shop and get me and Deshaun a cup of coffee and then yeah it sounds like I need to make a grocery list I don't feel like physically going in the store and going grocery shopping so I'm probably going to do a Kroger pickup but it sounds like we also need coffee so that is on my to-do list today I need to create a pickup order so that either later on this evening or first thing in the morning we can pick it up also so funny can y'all tell that I'm sticking beside my nails it's like I don't really like them in my last vlog I was talking about how 
basically um, my nails definitely didn't turn out like how I wanted them to when I compare them to the picture that I wanted them to be or that I told the person to do it's totally off but like if I just look at my nails by themselves without thinking about what they should have been then I mean they don't look terrible I'll say that like I would t certainly would never get this design again Let's keep them like I'm not gonna get my nails done over completely done over again like it's not that serious and like I said it's not like I have anywhere to go or anything and it's not like I super hate them if I super hated them I would certainly get them repolished it'll be okay and in the next week or so I'll go get them done again and it'll be like I never had them so yeah that's that how your avocado toast is supposed to be like oh my gosh I love it the little runny egg a fried runny egg with avocado toast hits every time understand where did the weekend be going like it's already Sunday I feel like I literally just got adjusted into the weekend and now tomorrow is Monday and it's another week of work that's crazy like where is the time going oh I'm going to make some cookies I'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies and I'm also gonna add some walnuts in there that's that I also made Myla some food for the week so she has her lunch which is good because I don't have to worry about that for the rest of the week. And yeah, I probably won't talk to y'all for the rest of the afternoon. So I hope y'all had a great week. Happy Sunday. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. y'all today is monday not much going on today just a regular work day i was just sitting here on the couch watching reality tv which honestly y'all reality tv is really my guilty pleasure like i watch way too much reality tv um and i haven't really been watching tv that often recently just because in the evening time i'm like usually doing stuff for the vlog but I'm just now getting into TikTok and I'm like, where have I been? Like TikTok really started popping during the pandemic. So um, you would have thought that I would have got into it then, especially since everybody was like posting their TikToks on Instagram. But I'm just now getting into TikTok. And I think the thing that I really like about it is that 
you get everybody's content and the content is based on what you truly like. So like based on the content that I post and the content that I search, that's what I'm getting on my feed and I love that for me. Today, not really much has been going on. So my hair, don't mind my hair. I'm going to do something about that tomorrow because your girl has been rocking this bun for the past like week and a half and at this point it's tired. Like it's time for the bun to go. So my hair is super matted. It needs to be moisturized. So yeah, planning to handle all of that tomorrow. But wanted to hop on really just to show y'all how I make my overnight oats. So um, when I used to make this like a few years ago, people used to always ask me about it on Instagram. So I figured why not hop on here and show y'all how I make my overnight oats. And basically, I make this for breakfast. I also sometimes have it as a snack. So even if I don't feel like eating it in the morning, I'll usually have it like as an after breakfast snack. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna do half cup of oats is gonna go on here. Got that. Half a cup of almond milk, I'm gonna do oat milk. This is actually my first time trying this Chobani vanilla. I usually just do extra creamy or regular. And I actually really like it. I don't know if I would get it all the time because the vanilla does have like a strong taste, but it's fine. I feel like it's gonna be really good in this anyway. So half a cup of vanilla, that's there. And then a fourth of a cup of Greek yogurt. Now, this Chobani Greek yogurt, I've also never had. However, I'm gonna try it. I usually just get any Greek yogurt because I don't eat Greek yogurt by itself. Um, so I usually just get any brand when I'm doing the overnight oats. Just do a fourth of a cup of this. Got that. That's looking good. The reason why I get these small um, Greek yogurts is because like I said, I don't eat Greek yogurt by itself. So in order to not waste like a big tub of yogurt, I just get the individual containers and then I still have a little bit left in this probably enough left for one more overnight oats cup so I'll probably just save that for tomorrow that's pretty much all you need for this also um I usually put chia seeds in this but I don't have any right now so let me just show y'all how this looks it actually looks really good now okay y'all so this is what the overnight oats look like now I forgot one thing one last thing I forgot Okay, one last thing that I like to add is vanilla. So I'm only going to add a little bit of vanilla because I'm already using vanilla um, oat milk. And so I don't want the flavor to be too much. But yeah, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. And then tomorrow I'll put honey, blueberries, and some walnuts in it. And it'll be really good. And I'll show y'all how it turns out tomorrow. But it's really, really good. So yeah. Good morning, y'all. Today is Wednesday, and here we are at Target again. I just need to run in here and get a couple things. It's like 8.30 in the morning. So before I start work, I just need to get a few things, and then um, I also need to go buy Ace Hardware because my car, y'all, is so freaking dirty. Like, it's filthy. I honestly cannot believe I let my car get this bad. So I'm going to... Um, clean up my car but I need to go by Ace Hardware and get a couple things to be able to clean it so I will talk to y'all later but just gonna run in Target and then go home and make breakfast because your girl is hungry I wake up in the morning so freaking hungry real quick let me show y'all what I got from Target which honestly isn't much just a lot of regular day stuff I did get this vase um this plant vase which we really needed because I have a plant that I've had for years that has needed a new pot because it has outgrown the pot that it's in. And it literally has not grown in years because I haven't replanted it. Um, and this pot was only $5. So found this in the dollar section, which is nice. Got this kinky curly um, detangler because my hair, like I said, is matted. Like it is literally a matted mess and I need something to help me. Also got another hand sanitizer specifically for my car. Got some wipes for my car as well. Like I said, I'm gonna clean out my car probably tomorrow, if not this weekend. So needed to get that. Also got some new air fresheners. I usually use the um, Bath and Body Works air freshener, but 
I don't know. I kind of want to switch it up because um, I usually get the same scents in those. So got these. Also got some shower caps because I use these to deep condition my hair, which I desperately need to do that. So got these conditioning caps. Um, and then also I got a new leave-in conditioner. I love As I Am products, honestly. So I'm pretty sure this is going to work good for my hair. So I got that. And then also got Myla some more onesies. She also needs some long sleeve onesies, but I'm going to order those online. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got from Target. Um, and then from Ace Hardware, I only got this multi-purpose cleaner and this protectant. And I saw they had the wipes, but I don't know. I've had car wipes before, like to clean my car, and I just, I don't prefer it. I like the spray better. I like to be able to spray on there and wipe it with the cloth. And then also got these candies that I love from Ace Hardware. They're just like these old school candies, hard candies. And I usually just put them in my car so I can snack on them um, when I'm going places. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got um, from Target and Ace Hardware. And now I'm going to make some breakfast and then I'm going to get the work day started. What's up y'all, happy Friday. I am headed out to run a couple of errands. I actually just stopped by UPS because I needed to return something to Amazon. And now I am headed to Target. And it's a pretty day here in Atlanta. As y'all can see, I have on a tank top, which I also have a jacket, because, a jacket because the way I grew up, like this is considered pneumonia weather. Like, it's cold one day, hot the next day. It's gonna be warm, really, here in Atlanta, really, for, like, the next week. But, um, but anyways, I'm going to do that. But, y'all, this week, this has been a pretty good week, like, I must say. Um, but the other day, what was it? I think yesterday morning or Wednesday morning, one of the two, I was coming back from dropping Mila off at daycare, and... The road of her daycare has like, it's kind of residential. Like there's houses um, near her daycare. There was a trash can in the road that I didn't see and somehow I hit the trash can. So my entire passenger side window is, rearview mirror is completely off y'all. Like when I say it's off, it's literally, literally dangling. Which I needed to go to the car shop anyways because it's time for a tire rotation and an oil change. Yeah. So, have to do that. Um, we're going to do that tomorrow morning, which I really don't like to do any type of, like, car things, like, maintenance thing. Anything maintenance I don't like to do on the weekends. I honestly rather do it during the week, even if it makes my weekday long. Just because I feel like my weekends are my day off. So, I never really want to do anything that I have to do but this must be done so I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning we're gonna drop off my car and then we don't really have any other plans this weekend um I feel like this year in terms of like weekend plans has just kind of been like off to a slow start but I'm excited for it to warm up for spring and summer